Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stealth Fang and today I'm gonna go ahead and bring to you guys an Audacity 2018 tutorial to go ahead and get the best audio quality for any voiceovers, any commentaries, or any podcast that you do want to go ahead and record. Now I did make a 2017 version, only real difference between that version and this version is that I've gone ahead and removed two additional settings which I will explain to you when we do get to those points. But other than that guys, um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Be sure to drop a like if this does help you and be sure to subscribe. I will go ahead and also include like a little demo test um, tours like my own playthroughs um, on my voiceover with the edited version and the raw audio. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you we want to go ahead and make sure to do, you want to head over to this website. I will provide it in the link down below. Um, File Hippo and I will be using Audacity version 2.0. So and then. We're gonna go ahead and after you've gone ahead and installed it on your computer, um, next thing we will get, uh, we will do is uh, change our project rate settings over here. So depending on the microphone that you do have, by default it's gonna be 44100. But since I am using the Blue Yeti microphone, which I would recommend if you are doing any commentaries, or the Blue Snowball, um, or the or the Spark as well, um, you want to go ahead and set it to 4800, no 48000 over here, which is gonna be the Blue Yeti's mic default. So in terms of quality, this will be able to go ahead and bring the quality um, up. If you go any lower, then it'll uh, sound bad. You can go 96,000, but that is, you are going uh, jumping into like studio quality. But in my opinion, it's not really necessary just because, you know, it, it doesn't, there really isn't much of a difference in terms of sound. Next thing you do want to go ahead and do is go to your output over here. So this is just what is you're going to be hearing. If you have any headphones plugged in, that's what you'll be listening to it from. Over here is going to be your microphone. This one I've saw. I've gone ahead and set it just right over here. You can go ahead and also actually change it in the uh, your audio settings. So you want to come down here to and right click on the speaker icon over here. Then you want to go ahead and click Open Sound Settings. And since I am speaking right now, I do have uh, my, my Blue Yeti microphone over there. And then the next thing you want to go ahead and do, you want to do Device Properties, and then you want to go to Listen. No, no, it's a levels, and then you want to go ahead and set your microphone. So you can set it around like 70, 70 between 80. Test this out depending on what microphone you do have, but if you do have the Blue Yeti, I'd recommend setting it to like 75 or 80. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 75, which is my default. And you, uh, you want to go ahead and turn down the gain on your Blue Yeti microphone. If you don't have a gain slider on your microphone, don't worry about it. Just make sure to turn off any fans or anything you have uh, running in the background. We're going to go ahead and click OK. X this out. All right, and then you want to make sure that they're also set over here. So this is what you'll be um, listening to, what um, you'll be hearing out of. Over here is going to be your, our microphone. Uh, you, you want to make sure that it's set to your microphone, the Blue Yeti microphone, or any other microphone that you do have uh, plugged in. And you want to make sure this is set on two stereo, not mono. Make sure it's set to two stereo. Cool. Other than that, that's pretty much it for this point. Now we're going to go ahead and do like a little test recording. So you want to make sure to go ahead and uh, just leave a little space of silence for maybe one or two seconds, which we'll, we will use uh, for the uh, noise removal. So let's go ahead and try it. We're going to go ahead and click the recording button over here. So we're going to start now. Ice, ice, icicles, spec, spec, spectacles, test, 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 one, two. All right, so after you've done that, you can go ahead and like listen to the audio. So just to go ahead and hear it out. And I did leave that little space, that one second of space over there, just so we can go ahead and record that silence over there. And I'll explain it. So let's listen to the, our audio track. Ice, ice, icicles, spec, spec, spectacles, test, 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 one, two. Nice, that's pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and make it e sound even better. Now we can go ahead and use this little silence of space we use at the end over here, or uh, at the beginning over here, or we can use the one at the end. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the beginning. We're gonna go ahead and you wanna click effect, noise removal, and then over here, copy down these settings. So I've set it to 12 for noise reduction. You can go ahead and um, change the slider to low. If you don't, if you start to hear like your micro, your um, audio sounds a little bit echoey, you want to you can go ahead and change it. So I'll set it to go ahead and leave it at 12. Sensitivity zero. Frequency smoothing, we'll leave it at 150. And attack and delay, we're gonna leave it at 0 
and you want to go ahead and remove the noise, not isolate it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and choose Get Noise Profile. So it, it pretty much go, goes and selects that little space that we um, highlighted over here. Get Noise Profile, and now it has the noise profile saved. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and select the track. So we'll click this little empty spare, uh, area over here, and then we want to go ahead and hit File. Next thing we want to go ahead and do is nope, we're gonna go actually go to Effect, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit Compressor. Now depending on it, how your audio is, in this case our audio waves aren't that high, I still do it just in case, um, but if your audio is, if your audio waves are like reaching around like here, meaning that you're either speaking very loud or the gain on your microphone is high, then you want to, the compressor is very helpful in this case. Well, in this case not so much, but we're still going to use it anyways. And then you want to copy down these settings over here for the, for the uh, compressor. So it's going to be negative 12. Uh, for threshold, negative 40 for noise floor, 2 to 1 for uh, ratio, attack time 0.2 seconds, and for decay time you want to go ahead and leave it at 1.0 seconds. And then to make sure this is checked over here, make up gain for 0 decibels after compressing. Then we want to go ahead and click OK. Nice. So it's pretty much brought it up. And then the next thing we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to do effect again, equalization. And then on this select curve, we're going to go ahead and have a whole bunch of settings over here. Now, if you want to go ahead and pretty much test out like the bass, which you will hear um, you'll, in terms of like pronunciations, if you're going to be speaking um, into the microphone very closely, if anybody's wearing any headphones, um, you don't want it to like have a, some crazy bass boost. Um, but what you want to go ahead and do is click bass boost, and then we're going to go ahead and set this down. Make sure it's still on 100 hertz right over here. We're going to go ahead and hold this down, so you just want to click hold this point and bring it down to 3 decibels right over here. So about 3 decibels, I did a little bit experimenting and just so that there's, there isn't too much bass, I did this one over here and it pretty much worked out better for me, but you want to experiment with that, just try um, that out on your own, uh, depending on like uh, how you speak or how close you are to the mic. And then we're going to go ahead and click OK, then it's gone ahead and done the bass boost. We're going to go back to effect, same area, equalization, and then we're going to go, go ahead and do treble boost. Then treble boost, you want to leave the same, so that one we're not going to be touching over there. Then we're going to go ahead and click OK. Nice. Next, next thing we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and do normalize. So you want to go ahead and select normalize here, then you want to make sure that you have negative one set over here, these two checked, and then the last one isn't checked. Then you want to click OK. All right. Now at this point, this is where I, I didn't uh, touch the settings over here. Um, this is where I removed two setting additional settings from the 2017 version. So if you want to go ahead and uh, listen to this, we're gonna go ahead and listen to it, and then I'll add the two settings just to let you hear the difference. So here it is: ice, ice, icicles, spec, spec, spectacles, test, 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 one, two. Alright, so obviously you can hear the difference from what it sounded like before it was edited and this edited version. So honestly, this is where you want to go ahead and leave your audio app off after. And then the next thing you want to go ahead and do is hit file. And then you want to go ahead and hit export. So now this is where we're just going to pretty much go ahead and save our audio file that we have over here. Then we're going to go ahead and save this to the desktop. I have my dishonored audio over there. But we're going to go ahead and save it as, I guess, uh test then I'll click save make sure this is WAV over here 16 bit and then it's just gonna go ahead and give you like different data, data stuff you can add artist name track title etc and then we want to go ahead and click OK and it's pretty much gone ahead and exported it it doesn't uh, give like a notification um, when you export just one file but since it is saved on our desktop it's just gonna be chilling over here so that's pretty much it um, and then if you did want to go ahead and add those two extra steps, I will leave that in the description below. You can go back to your edited audio after we normalized it. Effect, hard limiter, and then you can do negative two or negative four, but I'd recommend negative two. So it's pretty much gonna go ahead and just cut off this area over here, just a little bit of that area. The, more, the lower we go, like negative four, negative five, it'll go ahead and pretty much like just get rid of that top over there by negative two decibels. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. So just did that a little bit over there. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit normalize. Click OK. 
and then it just normalized it a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and play it again. Ice, ice, icicles, spec, spec, spectacles, test, 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 one, two. And honestly, that's pretty much it. So you can go ahead and leave it, uh, add those two extra steps. I decided not to go ahead and add those two extra steps because I didn't really see or hear a difference. But that's pretty much it. Now, if you guys do want to go ahead and hear uh, how this sounds along with other audio, um, let's say gaming or just any other commentary, I will go ahead and provide these two samples right now. So just be sure to check those out. And, you know, if you enjoy that content, it wouldn't be bad if you drop the like on those or subscribe to the channel for some of that gaming content co content it'll be really awesome but other than that that's pretty much it i will also provide a link to how to apply change so you can do this automatically by clicking file then edit change and then you can go ahead and add all those settings we just did right now and add them over here so you can just do it automatically so you don't have to go through clicking every single one of them but yeah that's pretty much it guys if you guys did enjoy um, be sure to go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. I will provide the samples right now. So I'll catch you. And until next time, stealth out. You know, I'm sure I could have gone ahead and used Rush there, but I don't know why that doesn't come to mind. Jeez. I feel like if you're a Mega Man player, it's just second nature. I, it, it, it definitely seems like something that'd be second nature. I want to see where that is on the map. Oh, it's like right there. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, we can, we can definitely head... And uh, do the the shark vagrant one. Hopefully we don't. We don't. I hope I don't get killed. What I do like is that the level. Away we go. Yep. Yeah. What I do like is that um the game scales with you. So like, oh my god, the level does scale with you. So it's not like once you're at level three. No, no. Once you you get to some high level. Oh my god. Okay. You know what? Let's get off.